fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I am glad you are here today. If this is your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the running content I have coming out all the time. If this is not your first time here, then welcome back to the Geek Den. I am so glad to have you here again. Also, let me start off by saying I apologize for my voice, but I am still getting over the flu and so my voice is not exactly where it usually is, so bear with me, okay? I will try my best to edit out all the coughing. Now, not too long ago, Andy, the Forest of Bean Runner, and I'm gonna have a link down below to his channel because if you're not following him, you are totally missing out. He did a video recently about how we all know that the most highly sought after shoe is the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent 2, which currently retails in the US at $275. However, would there be a way to come up with a running shoe rotation that would be your everyday shoe, your long run shoe, and your speed shoe for the same price or less than a set of Nike Vaporfly Next Percents? So he came up with some different running shoe rotations and challenged us to think of some for ourselves. I'm gonna have a link to his original video down below so that you can check out what he came up with. But I decided to take on the challenge for myself and I've come up with three running shoe rotations and uh, I'll give you the prices on each and, and just kind of give you uh, what I came up with. Now, there were a few stipulations, a few little rules to this. First of all, the shoes that I had to choose had to be the current model of said shoe. No cheating by going back and getting an earlier model for cheaper because they're trying to get rid of those. The next rule was that I ordered from the actual running shoe sites themselves. True, you can get some deals if you order them through places like Fleet Feet or Running Warehouse or Amazon. Sometimes you can find some deals that way. However, I decided to stick to just the running shoe sites themselves. And number three, if there was going to be any kind of a discount, it had to be one that was publicly available. So nothing that you have to go through another YouTuber or go through different channels in order to get. It's a discount that is available to absolutely everybody. And so based off of all of that, I came up with these three running shoe rotations. Why don't you let me know what you think of them? Now here is our first running shoe rotation. And this is if you would like to sink a little bit of extra money into your everyday trainer. So if that's where you want to focus a lot of your time then of course you want to sink a little extra money into a really good everyday shoe and so with that I decided on the Reebok Float Ride Energy 4. This retails at $120 however if you sign up for email on their website you get a 15% discount and that brings the price down to only $102. Next up would be your long run shoe. So obviously you're looking for something that is going to be uh, comfortable and last through lots of miles. And I went with the A6 Gel Contend 8 that retails at $70. And finally, the speed shoe. This is for when you're wanting to pick things up. If you're going to be using this for perhaps a race, if you're going to need something with a little bit more speed to it, then I went with the New Balance Fuel Cell Shift TR. Regularly, it is $99.99. However, if you sign up for emails on the website, they give you a coupon for a 20% off discount and that brings the price down to only $79.99. So there you go, your first running shoe rotation. Next up, we're going to have an option where if you would like to sink more of your money into your speed shoes. So if your speed sessions and your races tend to be the most important part of your running shoe rotation, then this could be one that you take a look at. First of all, we'll start with our everyday shoe and that is the Nike Revolution 6 Next Nature and that retails for $70. For our long run shoe, again, I went with an ASICS just because I feel like it's a really solid choice for a long run shoe. I went with the ASICS Gel Excite 9, and that is $59.95. And finally, the money maker here is going to be your Saucony Canvara 13s. And if you would like to pick up the pace a little bit, these are the ones for you. Those will retail at $120. And our final running shoe rotation is one where if you'd like to sink a little bit of extra money into your long run shoe, if that's what you really enjoy, if you like putting on lots of miles and you need something with some little extra comfort, then this may be the option that you look at instead. So we start with our everyday trainer, which is the A6 Gel Pulse 13. That is $59.95 regularly. However, if you use the code VALUE, V-A-L-U-E, then you get $10 off that drops it to only $49.95. For your long run shoe, here you go. It's the Skechers Go Run Swirl Tech Easy Days. 
$105. However, if you sign up for their text messages, you get a 20% discount and that drops the price to only $84. And finally, for your speed shoe, this is one that I've been seeing at a lot more speed events, a lot more races and things like that here in Arkansas, and that is Atreyu. Atreyu has a model called The Artist and that is a uh, probably one of the speedier shoes that you can get for a really good value. It's $100, but if you sign up for emails from their site, you get a 10% discount and that drops the price down to only $90. So there you go, option number one, which kind of focuses a little more on your everyday trainer, option number two, which focuses a little more on your speed shoe, and option number three, which focuses a little bit more on the long run. There are three complete running shoe rotations that you can get each rotation for the same price as one pair of the Nike Vaporfly Next% Percent Twos. So have you run in any of these shoes before and you'd like to give an opinion on them? Maybe you come up with a running shoe rotation of your own. Why don't you let us know down in the comments or make a video for yourself. I would love to see what you come up with. Did you find this informative or helpful? Why don't you let me know down in the comments below. This is your second reminder that if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing. You could also follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you had fun. I can't wait to see you next time. Remember to laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. See you guys later. Thank you.